Hi everybody, it's Mr. Gene. I want to show you a trick I like to do with the bow hold. It's called the mouse house. Check it out. We're going to make sure that we have four walls on our bow hold, just like that. We're going to make sure that we have three windows, so we have a little bit of space right there. It also has space for a mouse right there. And it also has a doorbell that works. <laughs> These are the most important parts of setting up a good bow hold, so let's check it one more time. Four walls, three windows, space for a mouse, and a doorbell that works and makes any sound you want. Every time you set up your bow hold, you want to make sure that all of those things are correct. It's also a good idea to use your left hand to hold your bow in place by the stick to balance it out and make sure everything's set where it's supposed to be. One of the best things about practicing the mouse house is you can practice it with your cello, you can practice it when you're listening to recordings of tunes that you're practicing, you can even practice your mouse house while you're watching cello videos on YouTube. And remember kids, never set up your bow hold with a banana thumb. So there you have it. Go ahead and take your bow, check your bow hold, and make sure that everything is right where it's supposed to be. Make sure to practice it a lot, and I'll see you at the next lesson.